Ever wonder which trucks revolutionized the game and became legends on the road? From groundbreaking designs to powerhouse engines that defied the norms, we're diving into the stories of the most epic pickups that not only changed the industry, but also captured the hearts of enthusiasts everywhere. Jeep Gladiator A legend that first hit the roads in 1962 for the 1963 model year. This full-size pickup wasn't just another truck. It was revolutionary, leading the charge in the four-wheel drive scene until 1987. Let's rewind to the roots of the Gladiator, which was born from the sturdy framework of the Jeep station wagons that were around from 1946 to 1962. These trucks were known for their ruggedness and reliability, serving as a robust four-wheel drive option compared to the more basic Jeep CJs at the time. They carved a niche in a market that was just beginning to appreciate trucks that could handle both work duties and weekend adventures. As the 1950s wrapped up, Jeep's designers were already plotting the future. They were crafting a platform that would eventually serve under different corporate flags, starting with Willys Motors, then moving through the hands of Kaiser Jeep, American Motors Corp., and finally Chrysler. This platform was not only for the Gladiator, but also for the iconic Jeep Wagoneer, the grandfather of today's SUVs. Brooke Stevens, an industrial designer, left his mark on the Gladiator and Wagoneer with the distinctive Rhino grille that characterized the early models until 1970. However, in 1971, after American Motors took over, the Gladiator got a makeover with a new grille that matched the contemporary Wagoneer. The Gladiator was a trailblazer with its engine technology. It featured the 230 Tornado six-cylinder engine, the first overhead cam engine designed and mass-produced in the U.S., predating Pontiac Sprint OHC-6. This engine, derived from Willys's 226 Hurricane, was powerful and efficient, although it unfortunately became known for oil leaks that caused more trouble than it deserved. Another cool fact? The Gladiator was the first post-war army truck repurposed for civilian use with military-grade capabilities. Many fans and experts still regard it as one of the most well-rounded pickups of its era, perfectly blending quality, comfort, and performance. Although the original Gladiator was discontinued and succeeded by the Jeep Comanche in 1988, the name made a comeback in 2018 with the new Jeep Gladiator. This modern version shares its looks and mechanics with the Jeep Wrangler JL, proving that some legends just get better with time. Dodge Lil Red Express A standout ride that hit the scene when the muscle cars were fading and the 70s luxury vibe was all the rage. Back in 1978, Dodge was clinging to its performance roots and stumbled upon a clever way to bypass emissions rules. You see, Vehicles over 6,000 pounds weren't required to have catalytic converters. The Dodge D150 was just over this limit, weighing in at 6,100 pounds, making it the perfect candidate for Dodge's new high-performance experiment. The Lil Red Express rolled out in March 1978 and stayed in production until 1979. Every one of these trucks was built on the shortest wheelbase available, 115 inches, and came as a two-wheel drive stepside pickup. These trucks weren't just any pickups. They were decked out with automatic transmission, the adventurer package, power steering, and more. Plus, they all sported the special Lil Red truck package. Under the hood was where the Lil Red Express really shined. It packed a 360 cubic inch V8 engine, tweaked to deliver 225 horsepower. This was the same type of engine used in police cars, but modified for even better performance. It also featured Hemi-style mufflers, a special 727 transmission. What really set the Lil Red Express apart in 1978 was its speed. It was the fastest American-made vehicle in the 0 to 100 miles per hour test by Car and Driver magazine, thanks to the lack of catalytic converters slowing it down. This truck wasn't just about performance, it had style too. It boasted a vibrant red paint job, gold decals, shiny chrome bed steps, and oak trim panels. The chrome didn't stop there. 
It had chromed bumpers, a distinctive steering wheel, and polished 15-inch western wheels wrapped in Goodyear tires. In 1979, the truck came back with a few tweaks, including a catalytic converter and a slightly toned-down cam, but it still kept its bold, performance-focused spirit. The Datsun 620 is a compact pickup truck that was crafted by the Japanese automaker Datsun, now known as Nissan, and it hit the roads from 1972 all the way until 1979. This truck was a big deal in Japan, where it was simply called the Datsun truck. And over in the USA, it was known as the Datsun pickup. What made it really stand out was its introduction of an extra cab model starting in 1976, a first for light trucks at that time. During the 1970s, when the energy crisis had everyone scrambling for fuel-efficient vehicles, the Datsun 620 shone brightly. Unlike many other Japanese cars of that era that were often criticized for their subpar steel quality, the 620 broke the mold. It was built to last, boasting a robust drivetrain that outlived many of its peers. Under the hood, the Datsun 620 featured a lineup of reliable engines. It kicked off with a 1.6-liter L16 engine, then moved up to a 1.8-liter L18 engine in 1974 and finished strong with a 2.0-liter L20B engine from 1975 until the end of its production. This final engine delivered 97 horsepower and 112 pound-feet of torque. Environmental consciousness? Check. The 620 was ahead of its time, passing California's strict emissions tests without the need for a catalytic converter, thanks to its early adoption of an EGR system. This edge allowed Datsun to stay one step ahead of the competition. But the Datsun 620 wasn't just about performance and efficiency. Its design was rather unique for a work vehicle. With its smooth, flowing lines, the 620's look has remained appealing over the decades. This stylish yet simple design, combined with its sturdy mechanics, made it a favorite among car enthusiasts. It was a versatile platform for all sorts of projects, from high-powered engine swaps and racing modifications to tasteful period-correct restorations. The 620's durability and reliability also added to its charm. It was known for taking a beating and still going strong, which only added to its underdog status. It stood shoulder to shoulder with the likes of the early Toyota Hilux, revered for its straightforward, durable, and reliable mechanics. The 1955 Chevrolet Cameo was a total game-changer in the pickup truck scene. Back in the day, trucks were seen mostly as rugged work tools, but Chuck Jordan, a visionary designer at General Motors, had a different idea. He saw potential for a truck that wasn't just practical, but also had some serious style. During the booming economy of the mid-1950s in America, people were starting to want vehicles that looked good and performed well. Enter the Chevrolet Cameo. This truck was a response to those rising consumer demands, launched in 1955 and built on the Task Force GM second series platform, a newer version of Chevrolet's platform since 1947. What set the Cameo apart was its design. It featured a smooth-sided pickup bed that flowed right into the lines of the cab, ditching the old step-side fenders for a sleeker look. This was a big deal at the time, Plus, it was one of the first to use fiberglass in the bed, the same material used in the iconic first-gen Chevrolet Corvettes. But the Cameo wasn't all about looks. It was about luxury, too. The interior was decked out with carpeting, a stylish two-tone red and white dash and upholstery, and even a push-button radio. It also offered optional modern conveniences like power steering, power brakes, and V8 engines, which weren't common in trucks back then. Despite its higher price, the Cameo hit the mark with buyers, selling over 5,000 units in its first year alone. It was only in production for four years, but it's still a hot item among collectors today. The legacy of the Cameo is huge. It showed that trucks could be both elegant and powerful, setting the stage for today's luxury truck market. It proved that trucks could match the style and comfort of top-line cars like the Chevrolet Bel Air all while maintaining their rugged utility. Essentially, the 1955 Chevrolet Cameo wasn't just ahead of its time. It helped redefine what a pickup truck could be, 
influencing the design and functionality of modern trucks we see today.